So you've heard that every snowflake is different, right? Well, I'm going to show you that oh, every snowflake is almost different with beveled glass. So what I'm going to show you is how you can make a snowflake just with bevels of glass, which means you don't have to cut anything if you don't want to. <laughs> so I have put together um, this configuration. Now, the way that we came up with the configurations is we just brought a bunch of, of bevels over and started putting them together to see what looked pretty. So I've used glass globs, I've used jewels, bevels, um, put together some just with some rectangles. I just wanted to show you though, if you do put some together and all you have is just the two of them put together with just a corner, you might want to add something else. That would make it a lot more strong, right? So, and that's kind of what's going on here. So you can use different colors. I just thought that light pink looked pretty. The blue to me looks a little more snowflakey. Um, but it, all clear ones are really beautiful. So what I have done is just I have gotten the bevels that I want and foil all of them all the way around. I know David likes to rip them and I like to cut them. So whatever is your preference. Okay, and then as you're smishing this down, you come to a corner, you just fold it over all the way around and then get out your fid, pressing down, burnishing that down so you want to make sure it's tight because you know that the solder is going to, that's your line of solder. So you want it to be tight against your glass. Okay, so I went around all of the pieces with the copper foil. Then I came over to the soldering iron and I just, with a little bit of flux, don't forget your flux. I went around all of them. I already did the other side. Okay. And I'm going to go all the way around, just tinning. Tinning is just going around the edge. The reason I'm doing this is because, it, as you saw over there, they don't touch very many parts. So it's just easier to do this, because if you wanted to go in between all the pieces afterwards, that would be kind of hard. Okay, you want to make sure that you've got your sides all soldered you don't want to have any copper showing so i'm just checking to make sure all of them are done and see i did forget that right there but not anymore okay what i did next was i went and rinsed them off in the water with a little bit of dawn so Okay, so let's come back here, and I'm just going to wipe this off. So, okay, so we're just going to wipe this off, put them here, back to where I was. Now, since we're using bevels, I didn't have to cut out all of these pieces. I could have. I could have cut out these pieces, and then, um, I don't know why, though, <laughs> because they're already cut out. But there is um, a pattern in case you forget how it goes or, you know, it doesn't matter if you forget how it goes because you're going to be making up your own. <laughs> and uh, so here's another configuration. This is done with some, some different sizes and different shapes. I even found a star bevel for the center. I could have put some other little glass globs or jewels in there. So, you know, those are the different things different ways you can do it. and that's why this is so cool it's because it's it's different but it's so easy. okay so I have it all ready now and I've put it on this so I can make sure that the configuration is right and I have soldered all these little 
places. So right in the middle there. Just a little bit of solder on all those parts, right? To keep it together. And I think it's going to be pretty strong. Okay, and then make sure that you do the other side too. Um, speaking of making sure, always flux before because if you don't, it'll just ball up and not cooperate with you. So, once I'm to this point, then I'm ready to put on some rings. Look, it's so beautiful. Okay, so I put on one ring. I think that I'm going to put two, one on each of these little corners. To me, that seems a little stronger because it's kind of heavy. I mean, bevels are heavy a little bit. So I'm going to put this ring on and I want to make sure that I know where the slit is to the ring because I want to cover that up. Split. Right there. Okay, so I want to put it here. I'm going to give it a little douse of flux. I'm going to put this close to me. And just grab a little bit and bring it over. When you do this, you got to make sure to be quick. If you leave it on, on too long, it'll just flow right off. There we go. Okay. So then I'll be able to put a ribbon or a, some um, fishing line from here and here and then bring it up so that it'll be, it'll flow really nice. Okay, so I'm just going to clean that up and that's it. Now, remember I said you didn't have to, you, you didn't have to cut glass. So, you know, you don't have to cut glass, bam, you're done if you don't want to cut glass, but what if you do? I found some glass, I'm going to show you, it is so beautiful. So right over here. So what if you want maybe one of these you want to make a little bit longer, but there's not a bevel that is exactly what you want. So you can always cut a piece, make yourself a little pattern. And then if they're all the same right here, then you can just use one pattern for all these. Look at this, huh? This iridized glass, can you see it? I wonder if you can see it on camera because it is beautiful and amazing. Or, oh my goodness, look at that. Would that be such an amazing snowflake? Doesn't that just look like snow? I know. So, so many things you can do, just, just a little snowflake, but you can make them bigger too. I made a bigger one, David's gonna show you on the video, that is, you know, and it was like, 12 inches. Ah, you can go crazy. Why not? But if you want to just make it simple and nice, there you go. So enjoy this project. Try it at home. Or if you're close by, come on over and we'll do one together. I would love to meet you. It would be fun. So have a great day, whether or not you're in the snow. <laughs>